will get ready to introduce who his opponents will be or who his opponent will be when we see the combatants in the final 70 kilogram bout of the evening making their way to the ring now corner from Moscow, Russia, Lendrush Akopyan, 16 years old, 170 centimeters and 70 kilograms. Out of the blue corner, Ingi Han, 16 years old from Incheon, Korea, 173 centimeters and 70 kilograms. Sports a record of 20 wins and 6 losses to Akopyan's 30 wins and 27 losses. And as Akopyan's corner adjusts the headgear, of their young charge. We see the referee, Michael Gallagher, is going to check the gloves, check the headgear in the red corner, come to the blue corner and do the same. Only the most professional of referees and judges ringside here at all Aiba tournaments. And as we say, referee from Ireland, the judges. Philippines, Sri Lanka, Morocco, Denmark, and France. Referee Gallagher checks the judges at ringside, make sure he's ready to go, and round number one underway. Hung and Akapyan. Akapyan throws a left hand, misses, and Hung with a nice right. A good counterpunch by Hung. Waited for Akapyan's hand to come in and then threw a nice right hand over the top. That's what you call good counterpunching. There's a nice right left by the uh, Hung. The left hand is blocked by a good defense by Akapian. He's got his hands up high. A nice uppercut by Hung, which was also blocked because of the tight guard. And all of these punches by the Korean are being blocked by Akapian. He's got a good fundamentals, as many Russian boxers do. Nice chopping right uppercut, little baby uppercut hook, if you will, by Akapian. Almost snuck through the guard of the Korean. Right hand by Hong. Good body movement as the referee is going to send Lendru Shakapian to a neutral corner as he adjusts the waistband of Inji Hong. Hong says that his greatest strength in the ring is coming straight ahead. And he seems to show, uh, show that tonight as he hasn't stopped moving forward. He says his greatest weakness is his body. And as we hear that, Lendru Shakapian throws a couple to the body to test that. On the flip side, Akapian says that his favorite thing about boxing is winning and his greatest strength is hard punching. So what do you get when one boxer, one boxer's greatest strength is hard punching and the other is coming straight ahead? That makes for a train wreck, folks. A train wreck in a good way where two trains are coming at each other at full force. Which one's going to give way? Akapian throws a right hand off his back heel and misses. Hong, on the other hand, now looking like he's willing to t take a one or two to get that counter punch in. He throws a right left to the to the guard of Akapian, both which fall short. And now Akapian has his man up against the ropes. A nice right-left combination. One misses, the other connects, and now the gum shield comes out of Ing Ji Hang, and the referee gonna look for an appropriate moment to replace that gum shield. He may not be aware. Looks like one of the judges at ringside has pointed it out. Referee Gallagher sends the Korean to the neutral corner as he takes out the gum shield. Excuse me, that gum shield fell out of the mouth of Lendrush Akapian. So they're going to have that cleaned off real quick, put back in the mouth so boxing could resume. There's six seconds left in this first round of this second and final bout in the 70 kilogram weight class. The winner will go on to face Mayili Orkan from Azerbaijan, the victor of the last contest. And nice right left combination by Akap Pian, and the referee is going to signal the end of round one. Both boxers go to their corner. Stay tuned. And by the way, we should point out that Russia has, is the country that sent the most boxers to this tournament. They've got eight that came here this week. And it looks like they're down to just a couple here between tonight and tomorrow. 
but they are representing strongly here, Russia is, as they go out in the first round of this bout with a three to one lead. We could see some action from the last round as Akapyan gets a, his man in the corner. It looks like his mouth guard maybe fell out. Oh, there it was. It fell out from a right hand by Hung, which caught him in the jaw. Looked like while well, he was getting ready to throw a punch as well. And round number two underway. Akapyan digging some uppercuts right and left to the body, and now Hong coming back with his own. And now Hong has his man up against the ropes, and he ends up falling through the third and fourth or the top two ropes as Akapyan spins away and waits in an opportunity. And there's a big left hand, another left hand by Akapyan. Both land on the head, and down goes Hong. Looks like that may be a slip, however, it was only after two big left hands by Akapyan, and Akapyan smells blood. He's looking to finish this here in the second round, folks. Can he do it? Hong still coming forward. There's a nice chopping left hand by a copy and lands on the right jaw of Hong. Now Hong gets his hands back up. Hong says his favorite boxer is Muhammad Ali and he is inspired by his coach. He wants to win a gold medal one day, perhaps tomorrow. Can he do it? Can he get through? Lendrush Akapian from Russia, 16 years old. He loves winning. He's a hard puncher. His favorite boxer is Mike Tyson. And his goal, to win this tournament. Well, let's see. He's got to get through Ing Ji Hong first. So far, he's up on scorecards. He probably up in the second round, too. And there's a nice big left hand by Akapian, which is going to cause referee Gallagher, Gallagher to give Ing Ji Hong a standing eight count. It looks like as this round progresses, Lendrush Akapian is finding ways and ways to get in a big right hand, scores and sends the head back of Hong. And now Hong looks like he's a little worse for wear here. He's trying to move forward. He's trying to land and score punches. He just can't seem to figure out a way to get through Akapian's guard. Akapian, on the other hand, just showed a little of a Mike Tyson flair right there. The way he ducked, he got underneath his punch, and another big left hand by Akapian scores to the chin of Inji Hong. Referee Gallagher going to separate the action. Hong looking tired in there. He's looking worn. Seems a little confused. And Akapian again with a big left hand. He's really an accurate puncture is this Lendrush Akapian. A lot of these punches are landing square on the head of Inji Hong. And that's it, folks. Round number two comes to a close. Round two, 10 to two. Victorious second round for Lendrush Akapian. Total score going into round three, 13 to three for the Russian. That means one thing, folks. That this young Korean is going to need to put on the pressure. He's going to need to stay on strong because he's down a handful of points, a gang of points, 10 points going into the third round. It's not an easy deficit to come back from, not at this level. And you see right there a replay from the last bout, uh, excuse me, the last round, where you see Lendrush throwing a variety of punches, many of them connecting, even sending hung to the canvas on one of them. Right there is a right hand to the jaw. And probably gonna see that punch that put a stop to it. Yep, there it is, a left hand to the jaw. Standing eight count. The third and final round, Russian 13, Korea three. I am Castle, calling your action from ringside here in beautiful Astana, Kazakhstan for the 2011 Ayuba Junior World Boxing Championships. And this, by the way, is Kazakhstan's first time ever hosting the World Championships. Excellent organization. We'd like to thank Kazakhstan and the Kazakhstani Boxing Federation for putting on a wonderful tournament for us, as well as all their helpers and administrative staff that have made this possible. 48 countries participating this in this tournament. On behalf of Aiba, we would like to thank the Kazakhstani Boxing Federation and all of the fans that have come out tonight to support our boxers, as well as around the world watching us on satellite television. A left hand by Akopanyan, digging to the body of Inji Hang. Referee Gallagher gonna separate the boxers, issue a caution to Akapyan. 
And now, as we see, Hong, knowing he's down on points, a good 10 points going into the round, he's got to be the aggressor. But a Kapyan, to his credit, is not riding away on his bicycle. He seems willing to engage. He's a game opponent. He knows he's up on points. He's using his coinage wisely. A right hand to the body by the Korean. Doesn't look like it has enough juice on it to really do any damage. Not even sure if it's able to score points the way it's coming. However, he keeps coming forward. A game in Ji Hong is not resting on his laurels. He's not giving up, that's for sure. He's got the heart of a champion. He calls himself Ali, and let's see what he could do. Can he look like the great one, Muhammad Ali, and finish this one in style? Can he stop Lendrush Akapyan? And there's a big left by Akapyan. Scores to the head of Hung. Another left hand on the break. Smart boxing by Lendrush Akapyan. He knows how to use his space well. He knows how to throw his punches good. And that's what's going to get him this victory. There's only 10 seconds left. Russia versus Korea. Russia comes into this bout up 10 points. Excuse me, up to this, into this round up 10 points. A nice left hand by Akapian. Lands on the chin. And that's going to do it, folks. Looks like Russia's going to skate to an easy victory on this one. The winner, as we say, will go on to face Maili Orkan from Azerbaijan tomorrow. And as the ref uh, excuse me, as the corners remove the headgears and the gloves of their boxers, we see Lenju Shakapian as well as Inji Hang in the center of the ring. Referee Gallagher checking their hands to make sure they're okay. They'll be fine. These kids are resilient. They're future professionals and perhaps future greats. We're seeing them on the stage right now. And the winner, Lendrush Akapyan, comes away with...